Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, we were able to get to wave number one of the potential severe storms out of here without any issues very early this morning. Did have some gusty winds, though, and some uh, shelf cloud. I saw some pictures on social media of the storms moving through the Evansville metro, so kind of a scenic, picturesque type of event without the severe weather. So we'll take those for sure, but we do have another couple of rounds of potentially strong to severe storms to contend with, the first of which could be as early as tomorrow afternoon. And that's what is topping tonight's first morning focus, that first of which tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening. Now that's a little ahead of a schedule compared to what we were looking at last night. Uh, the system looks like it's kind of branching off and giving us two waves. The first tomorrow afternoon and evening and then that secondary one which we have been following early in the morning on Monday still on track but pushing a little further to the south. So I think all of the tri-state will be under the gun for the possibility of some strong to severe storms. Main threats, damaging winds, maybe some large hail. Can't rule out a brief spin up tornado uh, but overall the ingredients aren't quite as heightened as what we typically see with some other uh, similar types of events. So we'll definitely keep an eye on things. Outside right now, though, no issues. That's a live look at the US 41 strip in Henderson from our Heads Construction Tower camera. Here's how the day played out from downtown Evansville, our Superior Ag Tower camera showing a good amount of clouds with those rain showers ending this morning. And then slowly but surely, the clouds broke up, allowing for quite a bit of sunshine through the afternoon. And then a few thin cirrus clouds building in there just before sunset. A beautiful sunset at that earlier this evening. And again, no issues in terms of precipitation for most of the day. We're now down to 78 degrees. Dew point, though, still very warm, very humid in that very humid category. So it is a muggy night. It's going to stay that way tonight and again through the day tomorrow. Just a light wind out of the west right now at five miles per hour. Temperatures since the nine o'clock update haven't really moved a whole lot. And we're not going to be seeing a pretty drastic drop at all in our temperatures. Many of us will likely stay in the 70s, albeit the low 70s, but we could have some outlying areas, places like Henderson already down to 74 uh, that could dip into the upper 60s tonight. But otherwise, upper 60s to low to mid 70s uh, under partly to at times mostly cloudy skies later in the night. The next couple of hours uh, looking mostly clear for most of us. First warning Doppler radar scanning clear. That's just some ground clutter right around the radar site that we see during the summer months as well. So we'll filter some of that out and put it into motion. We're not seeing anything develop right now. I think the window is open, at least what our future tracker shows, as a possibility of, of some very isolated showers trying to develop. I'll step off so you can see up here just outside of the tri-state, that boundary triggering some isolated cells up to the north and northeast uh, of our viewing area. Future tracker wants to show pretty much right along and maybe even just north of the river some cells developing between now and about 12 to 2 in the morning, uh, it would be very isolated, not the severe threat that we're watching. That kicks in the gear for tomorrow afternoon and evening. For that wave number one, most of the tri-state under that slight risk, level 2 out of 5, for again, mainly some damaging wind gusts, could have some hail as well. Then it transitions to a marginal level 1 out of 5, pretty much in our U.S. 50 uh, counties, Knox, Davies, and Martin, and part of Dubois uh, counties as well to the northeast. But Monday, as that shifts to the east, the cold front moving through, the threat lessens for most of us as that line pushes through uh, pretty much long and east of Highway 41 for the most part, marginal level one threat for strong to severe storms. So let's time it all out for you. Again, it could come in a couple of waves. Here's Future Tracker continuing to show the possibility of some of those isolated showers developing in the Evansville metro and then diving to the south overnight tonight. That's not materializing right now. Even if we do see anything, not too concerned about the coverage of that. It's going to be very hit and miss at best. I think most of us will stay dry and quiet. But here we go into tomorrow afternoon. First half of our Sunday, dry, no issues in the morning. But by the afternoon, you may want to keep an eye to the sky, especially over southern Illinois. Those showers and storms pushing into the metro between at least this run of future tracker, 3 to 5 in the afternoon, exiting our eastern counties by 7 o'clock in the evening. And then overnight, we're still watching that next wave coming through, primarily over our western Kentucky counties as we head into the pre-dawn hours to daybreak on Monday. Again, some of those could be strong to severe as well. And then another potential third narrow band of storms. That's the actual cold front that's going to give us some fall like temperatures could produce some more showers and storms early on Monday afternoon. Behind that, though, we clear out for Tuesday, maybe an isolated shower left over. Not concerned about that at all. And then high pressure keeps us clear and cooler than normal. 78 the high on Tuesday, feeling a lot like fall.